Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Bill at the RC here. Today we're going to be doing a repair on a Traxxas slash two-wheel drive. Uh, we're going to be replacing the receiver on it, which is a standard TQI Traxxas receiver, two-channel. And yeah, so we're going to show you how to bind it, install it, and the rest of the fun stuff. Okay, so here's the car. It's a really decked out Traxxas slash two-wheel drive. Uh, apparently what the customer told me is that this is all ProLine upgrades. And looks like it's true because it has a ProLine logo there. And uh, yeah, so here's the new receiver. Here's the old receiver, same exact one. And uh, part number on this is 6519. So yeah, so if you need a part number, there you go. Um, in reality though, on a real slash, which I got right over here, ignore that it's all apart, you'll see this receiver case, right? And there will be a cover. You'll have these two bolts, you'll need a 2mm to get those out, and also 2mm to take off this dust cover also. And then you can uh, un disconnect the plugs and then rip out the uh, receiver. So, yeah. But on this, it's just exposed, so, yeah. But, first things first, but once you take off the covers, is that you would uh, pull these plugs out. And um, make sure to know where your plugs are at. Um, the uh, servo should be in channel one, and the ESC should be in the second second channel, uh, so, or second second channel, or in another case, the uh, third slot on the receiver. <laughs> so yeah, let's unplug that. Which the customer here has it plugged in incorrectly. Just to note that. Alright, so now it's disconnected. Gotta move the wires out of the way. Now we gotta disc or take out the uh, antenna here. The antenna straw. And it looks like this one pulls out. On the Traxxas receiver box, it's a 1.5 millimeter that you would have to unscrew a little bit and then you can pop it off like this. Well, I just did. But yeah, so now you got your uh, antenna all exposed here. So now, I'm going to sit you guys down as I find a spot. So now, we can uh, take a screwdriver, shove it on underneath the receiver, gently pry it out. And now, Maybe take it out. Bada boom, bada bam. So now we just throw that over there because we don't need it no more. And now I ran out of double stick tape, so I'm not going to be able to do double stick tape this. But what you would do is that you would put double stick tape here, stick it on into the receiver box, and then you would plug in the channels, which I'm going to do now. So this is my servo wire right here. That'll go in the first slot or first channel. And we got our ESC and ooh, that is corroded. That is really corroded. They're both pretty corroded. Hold on, I'm on uh sand these down or something like that. Clean up these uh connections. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. We kind of cleaned them up a little bit the best we can. So, now we're going to install the uh, ESC wire. And uh, one thing to note is that if you see that little tab there, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you want to go in that little dog gear right there. So, we're going to shove that in there. Maybe. There we go. So that's how your uh, receiver should look like in your car. Well, the wires, anyways. Yeah. So, yeah. There we go. Now, I'm going to show you how to bind it quick. Um, at this step, you would have your, uh, you can put your dust cover back on. And then what you'd have to do is uh, remove two screws. You'll see on the inside of the receiver box. Um, you have to remove those out first. 
slip the antenna out and go underneath the little uh here, let me show you. so you have to take this screw out right here and then there's another screw right there take that out and then you take the whole box out and um then you can run the antenna out from here with this cover would be off run the antenna out here run it underneath and uh, up here and then you can uh, put your antenna back on and slide the nut screw the nut on uh, the tool you need for that I believe it might be a 9mm see if I can find it so you'll need this tool to put on and take off that antenna nut there and yeah so once you do that get the antenna all installed you can screw it back down and um, have it all plugged in, ready to go, and then you can put the covers back on. Okay, we got disconnected there a little bit. So you'll see this uh, red set button here on top of the uh, transmitter. Let's move this far out of the way so I don't look like an idiot. And I just dropped a bunch of parts. That's fine. Um, so now, we're going to hold this red set button. Pretty powerful stuff. Okay, turn on the remote. Now you see that real uh, red light flashing right there? Now, if you come on over here, we leave that alone. What we're going to do is that we're going to hold this link button right here on the receiver. Hold that. Now we're going to turn on the car. Hold on just one moment. Hold on, technical difficulty. Okay, we figured out the problem. The ESC is bad too. So, we got our uh, brand new XL5 here. We're going to replace this thing. So, all you're going to need is a 2.5, which this will also work on the stop tracks stuff. Besides that, there's a nut underneath that I didn't know about. So, let me grab me. Uh, yeah, ignore that my toolbox is a uh, top mess. What we're going to do, so we're going to take out the screw, if I can get it out. Why'd you stone? Alright, so, there's a 5.5 .5 underneath here, but I can't get to it with a wrench. Not taking apart the whole dang car, so, a little bit of plier action right there. Oh, yeah. So now, we're going to do Take out the other one. Bam, 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 bam. Disconnect our motor wires. Boom, bop, bam. Pull this thing out. Oh yeah, she's full of rocks and sand. Apparently this thing was on a beach. So that makes a lot of sense why stuff happened. But all right, now I gotta cut these zip ties. We're gonna be right back. So now we got this out. We're gonna send this to a uh, lifetime warranty to Traxxas. So basically, it's gonna be free of charge for this customer. So we're gonna toss that over there. Um, now, what we're gonna do? So we're gonna install our brand new one. Which uh, I don't know. Some re receivers or receivers ESCs come with it. This is just an extra lead for lights or any uh, accessories on your car. But we're not using that, so we're going to ignore that. Now we're going to clean off the rocks off of here. And uh, we're going to clean this thing up after the video. So just ignore that it's dirty for now. Alright. Let me find my pliers. Okay, so now we're in... Reinstalling, or installing the ESC right here. Now, let's see. Where do I have? Oh, there it is. I did what is it? Good, 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 good. All right. Now, put the other side in. We're just gonna pause and come back. Okay. Now, ESC is installed. We got plugged into the third slot, or the second second channel uh yeah so that's how your uh 
receiver should look like, if anyone was wondering. And yeah, so, now we're going to bind this thing again. So, let's get back to the cameraman right here. I'm going to put that over there. Okay, so we're going to hit this red set button again, turn it on. It's in binding mode. Now we're going to plug in our battery. And uh, now we're going to hold the link button, turn it on. Turn it on. Maybe. There we go. All right. She's linked up. So, bam. Now that's how you uh, install a receiver and ESC and bind it. So, yeah. Now we're going to plug it all in. Recalibrate it. Or recalibrate the um, ESC. Well, not recalibrate, but calibrate. You get the point. Plug it in. Boom, bop, bam. Now, what you're going to do to recalibrate your ESC, we're going to turn off the car again. We're going to hold it. Wait until the light turns red. Let go. Hold full throttle once it flashes once. When it flashes twice, you go full reverse. Let go back into the neutral position once the light turns green. And, uh, bam. Now we got forward and reverse. And, uh, next thing first is, uh, we're probably going to program this to LiPo mode because I know my customer likes to primarily run uh, LiPo. And, uh, yeah, but we're not going to do that in this video, because this video is long enough. And, uh, I think that this kind of angry. But, I'll be for another time. So, thank you for watching. It's been a long time since I post. So, have a great night.